Now they first brought you the story of the haunted LaSalle Hotel in downtown Bryan. Now, KAG's Digital A team Alyssa and Adrian brings you another story about something you might not know in the Brazos Valley. Check it out. One, two, three. We're, We're back. back. <laughs> We're looking at the Ice Age era in the Brazos Valley because Adrian found out that we once had like prehistoric Ice Age animals here. Like there's an yeah. Ice Age here. Like we had saber-toothed tigers. We had giant sloths, which are my personal favorite. We had mammoths. Yeah, which are mine. Like I love mammoths. I think they're awesome. Yeah. So um, we went to the Museum of Natural History to find out just more. What's going on? Yeah, more about everything that happened here back in back in the day. Okay, so the Ice Age is in the era called the Pleistocene. And the Pleistocene ended around 12,000-ish years ago. Kind of when humans came on the scene. That's what we were told. Also, another fun fact, during the Ice Age, it was actually temperate here in the Brazos Valley, in, in Texas, it actually wasn't like super cold like you usually think yeah. the Ice Age to be. It was... It was actually super lush. Yeah. Like we had a lot of green. Um, temperatures between, I think they told us like 30 to 90, just like it is now. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's an interesting fun fact because I always thought that it was like freezing cold. I um, thought the world was like an ice cube. Yeah, exactly. I think that a lot of people are astounded that we have found, especially very large uh, mammoth and mastodon fossils right here in the Brazos Valley on the Brazos River, and some actually very close to Bryan College Station. This is a Colombian mammoth, and it was found um, on the Brazos River uh, just west of Bryan. But this was uh, really remarkable because this is such a uh, such a find and so close to home and and I know that a lot of folks have come into the museum because people are still finding fossilized teeth um, and things on the Brazos River now when you think about the fact that we had lions tigers and bears living in the Brazos Valley 12,500 years ago that's pretty remarkable of course, they weren't the same species that we know today, but they were their Ice Age uh, predecessors. The saber-toothed tiger, that was definitely found here. The glyptodon, which is uh, like the predecessor to our armadillo, only it weighed about a ton. The giant sloth was found here. Eager to learn more, Deborah took us on a tour of the museum. One of the reasons why we have a grizzly bear, a lion, and a wolf is to remind people that we had their Ice Age you know, predecessors here 12,000 years ago. But we didn't stop there. We decided to travel to Waco, which is home to a mammoth excavation site of the same species of mammoth found here in the Brazos Valley. At the Waco Mammoth National Monument, we learned that the Colombian mammoths were not actually Colombian, but were in fact named after Christopher Columbus. The man who found them wanted to name them after someone who made a big impact in America, due to them being found only in North America. The excavation site is home to more than 60 individual remains of Colombian mammoths. Researchers believe a flash flood trapped a herd between the Brazos and the Bosque rivers. And like elephant herds today, the all-female herd were joined by their calves. They were found fossilized in a circular formation with the adult females on the outside protecting the calves in the middle of the circle. With so much history lying in our backyard, it's easy to forget there was a time before us. I think that it's awfully hard to appreciate what you have if you don't really have a way to put it in perspective and you don't really understand how far we've come. And I think a community that needs to be thinking about where it's going and where its priorities are needs to know its identity and, and where we've come from. From haunted hotels to beasts of the Ice Age, the A-Team has you covered. Until our next adventure, see you later. Love that. To find out more about these Ice Age beasts, visit kagstv.com.
We've got some links to help you learn more.